The third, and one of the most important, is debridement of the necrotic contaminated material from the wounds. And this is where we use maggot debridement therapy uh, on an ongoing basis. Surgical and enzymatic debridements are also used. However, as you may well know, enzymes will d destroy good tissue as well as necrotic tissue. We have utilized maggot therapy in an effort to salvage as much tissue as possible. And the maggot therapy has allowed us the opportunity to have extremely large recalcitrant wounds heal appropriately. The maggots will consume only the necrotic tissue. They usually stop eating and digesting when they reach vascularized tissue. Consequently, we can salvage as much of the normal tissue as possible to provide for the reconstruction at a later date. 